Okay, that's what it gives. So, poison, of course, is poison negation. Status up means I can inflict statuses such as poison and paralysis much easier. Normal up will increase the strength of normal shots as well as uh, rapid arrows. And team player, as I said, increases the attack, defense, and I believe stamina increase uh, for the uh, shakalakas. In that case, I'm going to go for my Baroth armor as my uh, armor of choice for low rank. So we're going to go ahead and fight another Baroth. I wonder if I unlocked any new guns or bows. I know I had the Rocky Revolver unlocked. Uh, weapon Craft Forge, not Great Sword. Okay, well, I can't make it yet. Nothing unlocked there. I unlocked the gobble shooter. Which will allow me to also fire Pierce 1 in addition to my pellet and my normals. I'll still be able to shoot my cluster. I'll unlock paralysis. Well, no, I can shoot paralysis. So that won't really help much. Um, I'll unlock water shots. Might be useful later, not so much right now. Ooh, sub shots are always nice. And I can rapid fire normal level 2 and para shots. That's not half bad. Well, let's check upgrades. I can make that royal launcher, but I don't really want to right now. Not much I can do there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, whenever the Argosi is in town, um, you will get a uh, sale on all of your uh, items available here. As you can see under where, under where it says market, you do get 50% off uh, all your items. The only shots are useful for one, so I'm going to go ahead and load up on those again. And with that, we should be able to go on to <coughs> uh, fighting Baroth. Once again, we're going to go ahead and eat to my temper. Increase my attack a little more. Attack increased. And I didn't get any skills. We're just going to go right for it. <clears throat> I've been streaming for about an hour now. Um, might go for another hour or so. Maybe not. I'll have to uh, prepare some supper soon. Actually, I am pretty tired. So, you know what? I'm probably going to call it uh, after this quest. I'll probably just go ahead and start uploading. Now, as you just saw from my detect before it disappeared, he is currently hiding out in Area 3. As I said when we fought him the first time, that's primarily where he appears. Ooh, oh, pardon me. Hey, how you doing there? But <laughs> Good job missing me. Not this last time, we just don't want to stand in the same spot for too long. Find a good vantage point where he's not attacking me and just take a chance to shoot.
Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Out of the way. bit too late. If I were a little bit earlier, I would have... I don't know. Okay, so he's inflicting me with Muddy. Um, if you quickly run around, you can break out of it, but as you see Cha Cha hit me there and broke me out of it. Uh, while you're Muddy or Icy, which is basically the snow variant of the, of the same problem, uh, you do get infinite stamina, allowing you to sprint. Uh, however, you cannot attack. So the best thing to do is rotate the circle and sit it and fix it until you break out. You can also use a cleanser, but I personally find that a waste of time. As you can just break out pretty damn quick by running in circles. Or if Cha Cha or Kayamba are nearby, they'll probably try to break you out too as long as they're not you know, in rage mode or dead. If you actually get hit by the actual um, drop of the head, you actually won't get hit by the mud, but mostly when you dodge the head, you have to get dodge the mud as well. On his nuts, apparently. Shake again. Now remember, don't get greedy with your attacks. Especially against Barrow, because he can turn pretty darn fast. So when he's occupied, like when he's shaking or rolling around in the mud, make sure you take your chances. But try to take more than one, maybe two volleys of shots while he's uh, actually just doing stuff. No, we dropped shiny. I uh, knocked the mud off of the chest. So Baroth actually has some uh, the most amount of breaks, or one of the ones. If you count all the different mud spots, so he's got his head, his body, his tail, his hind legs, and his forearms, and then his hind legs, or sorry, his forelegs, his um, his head, and his tail can also be for the broken, giving him a total of eight breakable spots. Um, not too many monsters have more than that. I know Grand Moroso has about twelve. Oh, went to area two. But his mud technically usually isn't counted in the break count uh, due to the fact that he can also reapply it simply by rolling in the mud. <laughs> uh, the main uh, issue, uh, or the main cool thing about the mud, is once he reapplies it, you can break it off again, which gives you another chance at a drop. And he drops, for example, Fertile Mud, which is a great thing to use in the, um, in the farm. It's also used for crafting his armor and in several of the villager quests, so... It's quite easy to get, actually. And Fertile Mud is available on all difficulties, so even in G-Rank you can still get it. But you, I think you stop getting it as a, um, shiny, you can only get it as a quest reward. Holy crap, what are you doing there, buddy? Oh, he got mad. Oh, 
Because he was digging, all of a sudden he pops back up. I'm like, whoa, geez, dude, what's the problem? <laughs> I was just back up there, but didn't have the time. And I'm sorry. Now, the white cats are actually normally friendly. They normally won't attack you. However, once they've been hit by either you or the monster, they do become hostile. Whereas the black cats will always be hostile and they can steal your items. Tired now. Oops. Eat again. Don't break up there. Yeah. This is just gonna dig. Chance of digging the end of the rooms. These are only gonna be cat shinies, I think. But ooh, easy flash bomb. Probably a popper and stamp. Yep. That flash bomb's quite nice. Uh, drop though. Uh, if, if if you know a shiny's dropped by a cat, I wouldn't recommend uh, risking trying to get it in battle. But it's uh, definitely worth to pick them up afterwards if they're still there. Uh, popper and stamps are used for some of the feline weapons, uh, which normally grant paralysis or have a large amount of status. Like uh, the Grim Cats, which is the um, cat switch axe, needs popper and stamps. And I think there is a um, board that needs them as well. That was the cat, that's like iron cat. It also needs popper and stamps. Achieve that, but you don't get it. Shooter for when he was tired. Now he's angry. As you can tell because he's got the columns of steam coming out on top of his head there. Apparently those are also ventilation shafts. Oh, let's not get killed. Oh, I'm out of point one. Quick. 